into programs that you know maybe they don't apply, they can't go into internship program right away, and they need to have burial removals or get their driver's license or GED and in order to take the next step. And so you know we understand that's a, a key part um, in the community and also um, linking job seeking resources, employment services to the people on the lo in the local neighborhood as well as providing internship um, resources and certification programs. So this is 1.5 million to solo based workforce support. It's gonna create about 1,200 construction jobs and 3,150 um, new full-time jobs at the, at the end of the project. And this is a summary of kind of, uh, this is an old slide, so it's 241. So if you take a picture, it's actually, we're providing more than 212 now and um, it's actually 241 of those So if you want more information, uh, please visit 5mproject.com, and I'm um, open to questions. Thank you. Hi. Um, so last night, of course, the Board of Supervisors approved the project basically eight to three. So is that the last hurdle for the project? Is there Anything? So I know that you know it's passed the planning commission, and then uh, there was the appeal, and all. So is that it now? Because <laughs> well, that part I wasn't quite sure. Of. Yeah. So the I, I, the the last step was uh, the board of supervisors approval. So at this point, uh, the project is ready to move forward. So the project um, is ready to move forward. So the last step was uh, first it goes to the planning commission. And then it goes through land use and it goes through the first time. So what, what is your timeline for construction? So the timeline for construction is um, there'll be a year final like final design and then uh, the anticipate date for groundbreaking would be uh, February of 2017. Hmm. Um, out of the uh, because you mentioned only one street, because um, there are multiple streets involved here. Mm -hmm. um, you only talk about one street, but we mean between trees. And I have to put the trees, street trees. Now, mm -hmm. this is about limiting what you just said, uh, because I mean, um, in some of these areas, I see you know, green and intervening, but you're not necessarily putting in trees. We have an under, under, underforced uh, city, and, and only enhance those the, the, the rendering you have of that. Plaza, et cetera, mm -hmm. and trees. I didn't see trees. So I saw grass, uh, and I didn't see trees. So uh, do you plan on putting in trees? That is, I, I can ask, um, you know, the person that's working on, on that item and get back to you on that um, and see what our landscape is. Normally, when you put in a new buildings, you put trees around them. So it's a joint, it's a joint um, 
its joint uh, project with Forest City and the Hearst Corporation. Um, are, are you, are you, because uh, I mean, the Chronicle is currently, you know, using the Hearst Corporation's uh, site there. Are you going to be, um, there are people or entities in the Chronicle building, they stay, or, or do you, do you, or do you have plans to alter those that uh, building? So are there plans to alter the building? There are plans to renovate it, but there's no, there's nothing where there's nothing going to be built on top of it. You know, it's really making sure, you know, there's probably going to be some uh, renovations to upkeep the building. Okay, so, so I guess my question is because the Chronicle is staffed, or someone staffed there, I mean, will that affect the problem? It's publishing of the Chronicle. Oh, I don't know. I mean, if, if you guys have seen how, um, just like the, re the, the reason why, you know, I think, you know, Hearst was looking for a partner, you know, a lot of like media are, has gone digital, and you, their 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 usage of the site itself, like in two thousand eight or nine, I mean, for well, I, I know that that's so. Something, but I'm just asking whether or not it will affect their visits. You know, Michelle, some people are with the publisher of the paper. Your your oh. plans to develop the site, how's oh, that going to okay. affect their publishing of their yeah, I, paper? Yeah, I yeah, I don't think it's no. It's not going to affect it. Okay, and so you're not you're, you're not you're not going to be picking up attendance in in the uh, article. No, I there's there's yeah no I don't think there's. Okay, so then, then you said mm -hmm. you have a million dollars for the uh, mint. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. well, how is that over a period of time? I mean, because we've already transferred uh, the uh, the um, the, uh, the, uh, the city has transferred two entities uh, uh, in the last year to manage that as a nonprofit. So my question is, what is that million dollars for? So I think, you know, um, there's actually been a lot of work towards trying to jumpstart like the mid, and it's a, it's, it is a, a large project, and so I think it's, um, you know, a way to contribute and see, you know, we're, we're not managing, we're providing the funding to help kind of move that forward. So that money would go to the nonprofit, or are you, are you doing something? Building or also or the first. We're not because doing anything. Of, we're not doing anything to building, so it's being just donated to. Because that's why across the street from the Chronicle. So yeah. I mean, are you going to be uh, uh, are on that side of the street? Are you because in the next block down is the, is, is, the, is the Mint Plaza? And I said you already showed something you're going to the Mint Plaza. My question is, are you adding anything to the uh, pedestrian safety in that area? We too? are. We actually are adding um, some pedestrian safety in that area. So right, um, I, don't, I don't think I have this slide on there. Okay. But I, we're right, right, right across from uh, Mint Plaza. So I'll just get to that right away. I'll show you so you can physically kind of see, um, or visually, I'm sorry, see what I'm talking about. So right across from Mint Plaza, from here to here, we'll, we'll be putting a cross on. So that, and that's what I'm talking about. Yes. What about the uh, other street? Um, um, it's, 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 the, the other street going the other way. Mission? No, no, no. no. Uh, was it fifth, fourth? Uh, the, 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 the other street, the actual street. Uh, just um, yeah. No, that's Mission. But I'm this is the, I'm talking about Howard Street. No, okay. Uh, well, 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 I'll uh, tell you what we're doing so that, that yeah, we're, we're going to provide um, a crosswalk from Mint Plaza to here. We know a lot of people, you know, cross over and there's not really a crosswalk. And so that's that's one of the pedestrian safety improvements. And a lot of the six well, what are you doing on 4th Street? 4th and 5th Street? I mean, these, these, you, you may have to your things on wall I mean, I guess sure. these, these are, these are, these are. Um, on 4th and 5th Street? If we're widening the streets on the street. Okay, but when you do that, you have your traffic coming off the freeway, and you're, 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 when you're narrowing the, uh, the take away from the sidewalk, you're narrowing the traffic. How, how, yeah, much, so how, how, how many lanes do you take? One lane down? There's no lanes. Sides? There's no lanes. About parking. Are you, parking. I mean, I mean, if you're widening something, something to give. So yes, you're yeah, we're, we're, we're not taking out any lanes. 
And are you taking away parking spikes? No, actually, we're not taking it. Right now, if you notice, it's like a white white zone and pickup zone. So no, we're not. The, no, no, all the streets. We're talking yeah. about the whole, the whole, the whole project. We're not just white zone and pickup zone. So I think, you know, the, the reason why we did a lot of pedestrian safety improvements and, and just letting you know is through really hearing from what people have said and a lot of people walking, a lot of seniors have said, look, you know, we need, a, you know, a lot more. You don't have to be a senior. It's, yeah, it's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's, I'm just, I'm just saying this is what we've heard a lot of. And then also on 6th Street and the 6th Street area, I'm just letting you know that I think they did like a city around 6th Street and a lot of the improvements, you know, that are the financing will we'll go into those community-based conversations around the 6th Street pedestrian improvements as well. And that's in correlation with that like MTA. And right. so I think so you know, you're gonna, so, so you're gonna be doing a fourth, fifth, and sixth? It's going to be on fifth and then sixth street. So okay. all right. And so so you okay you know, again, uh, okay. So who's the community liaison for the project? Is there one designated yet there should be one? based on the planning code? Who's um, going to be the community liaison for the project? Who's been designated as community liaison for the project? Okay, so I'm the community engagement associate. Well, so okay, so you be it. Yeah. Okay, I'm just <laughs> so glad to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, you know, there's got to be the point person for the community. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and, you, you know, because um, really we do have to kind of wrap this up because we're always yeah. okay. but, but uh, uh, Susan, do you have any questions? Um, not really. Uh, I hope to get these up on YouTube. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else have any other questions? Uh, we actually have the room until 1230, but uh, um, I do want to keep on the agenda as uh, time slots. But mm -hmm. Any other questions for the presenter? Five M project. Uh, um, if you want to go on our, our website, it's five M project.com. It's, it's on our. It's on our. Uh, it's also on the agenda. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so that you can be able to get more details, and then you can also call me. My phone number is four one five three zero nine zero three three two. Repeat that. Four one five three zero nine zero three three two. And, and obviously, you'll still be doing presentations all throughout the project time to update, give out updates to the community. Yeah, we'll definitely be giving updates to the community. I think we're, what we're going to go move into is, um, you know, around kind of like what people want to see within the open space and um, working with the Community Art Stabilization Trust. You know, they'll have their process around, um, you know, just the arts and youth programming and what can you know happen within that building and adjacent to that space. So mm -hmm. now that the project's been approved, do you know how soon the TMDC project at, at uh, Taylor and, and Eddie will be able to yeah. get going? Because this project, my man is providing the last funding for it. Yeah. So I'm just curious how soon so they've been waiting years for that. Yes, and, and, and we're really excited to see that, you know, that we're a part of that to be able to um, you know contribute and help that get going and so last night the project um, manager that manages that said that in, in two you know it should be two years they could be starting um, construction so two years thank you now we okay. can't, yeah, that's yeah. actually okay. family housing so yeah, yeah. Which, uh, which, which is not low income Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, thank you. So, yeah, just, um, is there any other, uh, does anybody have any announcements? Or, there's my, um,